see it's still unhappy Maryland Stadium. This is the Viner Four Gates postgame show. Maryland loses today to Michigan State 24 to 3. I'm Wayne Viner. That is intern Mason. Wow, not a good day. No, it was a really rough day for this team. Not much to say. They really didn't come out and look ready right from the get-go. It's hard to put into words, but pretty much more of the same, 100 yards of offense against a team that's goal is to impose their will, and they could do that, and they did do that to Maryland today. Michigan State, 100, 356 yards of offense. 80 of that came on one play after it looked like Maryland had cut the lead to 17 to 10 when Byron Coward intercepted a tip pass and almost scored, but he fumbled on the way into the end zone. And Michigan State turns around and, and ups that to 24 to three on the next play. Did you ever feel that Maryland was actually in the game? No, not really. Even if Coward scores that, Maryland showed me absolutely nothing today that made me feel like they could come back. And that's, you know, I'm an optimist and that's where I am now, that there's just no offense. This, is an 8-4, and 9-3 and three defense that has a 2-10 and 10 offense attached to it. And hopefully they'll come out in the middle at 6-6. Six and six. You would hope so. When Maryland plays Minnesota or Illinois, offense shows up, or Rutgers. When they play the top end of the conference, the offense doesn't show up. And that's something that whether it's Matt Canada or another offensive mind who runs this show next year, certainly going to have to take care of. But you're right, the defense showed enough to win once again. I think they showed enough well, at Iowa. I think it's been since Ralph Friedgen in 2010 that Maryland has one had a quarterback, two had an offense that you said that can compete against a top end team because Randy's guys didn't have it, Durkin's guys, Walt Bell didn't have it, Canada it hasn't shown yet and I don't really think it will in this limited time that he will most likely still be here. So it's been now eight years since we've been able to compete against a good team and I'm tired of it, and today, regardless of what went on, I usually am really disappointed when they lose, and right now, it just, yeah. just doesn't matter, and that's that's the real sad thing around. Yeah, more used to going to press conferences than actual games. Well, we will take a moment and thank our sponsor, Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville, and we'll be back after this commercial break. As we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Well, Mason, I'm sure the week that was had something to do with this. I'm not exactly sure what, but maybe it didn't. It was a similar performance to the Temple, to the Iowa game, the Michigan game. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But whatever did happen this week, can't matter as we move forward. You have a game to win next week at Indiana. Then it's Ohio State, and then it's at Penn State. Yeah, not much gets easier from here on out. Of course, going on the road next week, and then, well, the inevitable, you're going to run into an Ohio State and then a Penn State. It's just, if I had to point out one thing today, it was the offensive line. And it's just, we can't block. Just, there's no blocking. There isn't any blocking. And Offensive line is not a position, and Maryland is doing this now, where one play you got Christie in there, next play Davis, next play Moore. It's it's not that. That is not to how you solve your problems. Maybe it's, possession it's by play. possession. Well, I think it is. Flipping guys around. I don't think they're flipping in the possession. I think they're flipping after the possession. But, yes, they play six guys out there and it's just, in five spots. It's just not working because Michigan State, what they do, uh, it doesn't really matter to me how good they are or how good their rush defense is. But you got to give your quarterback a chance. You got to give these receivers a chance to right. get out of their initial so, break. So Kasim is eight for twenty-one. Or is he eight for twenty? Uh, and Lewerke was eleven for twenty-one. It wasn't that big 
yardage in the air wasn't the difference. It was the yardage on the ground. Yeah, we had a block better. Defense was pretty good. And we'll do it all again next week at Indiana. I, I just... Yes, they will play another game next week, but it's not going to be of this caliber team that they're playing against. Okay. And I'm just, I, I want to compete in these games, and this team just, it's just not going to give you that. They're just not, they're not there on offense. They're there on defense, and they're just, they're just not on offense. And Canada said Maryland had, you know, their spots and their chances in this game, and they did, but they're just not converting. And Michigan State, it's, it's a heck of a defense. It's a heck of a way to play football. And I really like the way they play, but can't get pushed around and you got the talent this offensive line is supposed to have the talent they just supposed they, to. they can't make the, plays. In the big games just haven't played that well yeah there's your bottom line they just haven't played that well nope. oh well tough day hey right, get the six wins tomorrow get that extra month of practice maybe you can figure some things out going forward all right and that about does it for a post game show on this saturday afternoon you can catch in the nest tomorrow morning on 1300 CBS Sports Radio as the Ravens get ready to take on the Steelers. Spruce says their season is on the line and there will be a Young Terps podcast tomorrow. Jordan and I will talk more about the numbers of this game and really where what Maryland will do moving forward. It's been a big week and hopefully next week won't be as bad. That's that's it. That's that will describe it for you guys right there. Very good. Good afternoon from College Park.